Welcome back, folks. We're here for another week of the Stampede. It's uh, exciting times at Floyd County Sports right now. The, the football team is on a roll. We got Coach Bill with us again this week. Thanks for being here, Coach. Oh, most appreciative. We're going we're gonna to visit today with the football team. Jump right in here with Coach. Uh, had a great game last week at Carroll. Come out with another win. We're up to three and two three this and year. Two. Yeah, it was a great team effort. You know, we scored in um, offense. We had a punt fake punt for a score and uh, made it a little bit closer than we wanted to at the end, but the kids played a great game. They did, it was, it was right. really good. And that was, on the fake punt, that was Fenton that scored yes, on that? Tyler, he put some moves on some people. He's yep. got those hips and uh, he's a shake and bake type guy out there in the open field. He is, that was, that was a fun play. The, uh, he really does have some nice open oh, field yes. moves. He's got, he's got a gift. A great, um, Chafin hit him for a pass too and yes, touchdowns, yes. nice looking play yeah. there as well. They, um, so you, was you kind of, you go with the attack, the plan that you had, did you feel that it was what you wanted up there? Yeah, overall, uh, we played great in all three phases of the game. I mean, probably um, offensively, we had as much production as we had all season. Uh, defensively, although the stats didn't really show it, uh, we played probably a great defensive game, limited them to probably less than 100 yards rush, and they had a about three big pass plays mm -hmm. that was the majority of their offense. But I was extremely pleased. And the kids played a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, and a lot of togetherness as well. They really did. I was just getting ready to say that to you. They, they really looked hyped on yes. Friday night. They, yeah. were, they could tell they were having a lot of fun out there. It was a great night, great weather. Oh, Everything perfect was perfect night for football. It really was. So, so we're sitting at three and two. Uh, the team's looking great. We got Giles coming in this week. Tomorrow night here at Floyd County, you need to be here. Uh, it is pink night pink for night. the Cancer Awareness Month. Um, Giles is coming in. Giles is 0-5. Seems really odd to say yes, that. Yes, it uh, is. That's very unusual for them. They had a, a tough schedule to begin the year, and uh, they're sort of still trying to find themselves. But, you know, Floyd Giles is always a tough game. I mean, we're looking forward to the challenge, but we know will get their best shot. That's right. I'm pumped about this game. Oh, yeah. I want to see a, a win over Giles. We're, we're, wait, we're always waiting on this. Yes. If you're a Floyd County football fan and, and you don't want to beat Giles, <laughs> you may need to move out of the county. Right. I Something's mean, wrong. Yeah. Something is definitely wrong. Isn't it? wrong. I mean, if you're, if you're at a crosswalk with a Giles fan, you better beat them across <laughs> the street. That's how serious it is. Exactly. Yeah, we, we are pumped about this. They got a lot of things going on tomorrow night here at Floyd County. You should really come out and check it out, support the team. Uh, the guys love hearing the noise in the stands. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's just uh, sort of like that 12th man, you know, Texas a and &M. It just gets the kids pumped. And like you said, it's a big night, pink night. Uh, the football family has been affected by uh, cancer quite a bit here in the last few years. So it's just not a... Uh, show thing. I mean, it really means a lot to the kids to sure. play well for those that have lost loved ones to breast cancer or to players that have got moms that are battling that right now. So, you know, it's yeah. a big deal. It is. It's close to everyone's heart. Yes. And, uh, so what are you expecting out of that Giles team? Uh, typically, they're run oriented. You know, uh, they are playing good defense. Uh, although the score against Radford didn't indicate that last week. But, you know, they're, they're a balanced team. They're a younger team than they've been in some past years. But it'll be a game that's won in the trenches. Sure. Any yeah. sort of passing attack from Giles? Uh, yeah, they pass more than they normally do just because they've gotten behind in some of the games. And, uh, you know, we have to be – you know, it's one of those deals, if you overcommit to the run, then they can catch you off guard on right. long pass completion. So our secondary has just got to play smart. So do you adjust your defense? What kind of format do you use to go after that single wing? It is tricky. Yeah, we, you know, that with the unbalanced line and the wing type, it almost creates an extra gap that you have to defend. So we're just committing a few more players to the box. Uh, whereas in, you know, spread teams would have a little bit more in the secondary, you know, that mm -hmm. type of deal. That's great. So I, <clears throat> we, we've had a lot of good play from Chafin. How, how are you feeling on him? He's looking oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, both the two, you know, Avery at quarterback, Braden at running back, uh, Wyatt at kicker. You know, we've we <laughs> yeah. got a plethora of, We're full of on the team. And then we've got, 
little Gus that just got cleared. That's Avery's brother. He's a mm -hmm. JV player, but uh, we have our share of Chaffins on the team. And they're all doing well. And Great kids, all too. Good people and good football players. And uh, speaking of Chaffins, we're speaking of quarterbacks. And uh, we we'll take a minute. We'll wish uh, Jared the best of luck. Uh, he's right, going in for a surgery. Uh, we hope everything goes well with that. And we'll see you back soon, Jared, on that. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He, it's a good he's a kid as well. part of us, whether he's on the playing field or not. He's been at pra him and Mitch both have been at every practice. They never miss a practice, and they're there for the teammates. Yeah, that's good stuff. So, yeah. well, coach, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Thanks for joining us this week, and uh, all you Buffalo fans, make sure you get out to that game tomorrow night. We'll be right back after commercial break. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Appreciate it. Welcome to Gig Country. Today, we're going to show you what you can expect on a typical fiber optic installation. Phase one, it starts with our engineers. The contractor will look over our plans with the engineering department to discern if there are any conflicts with any underground utilities, such as power, water, septic drains, water lines, etc. Once the contractor has determined the path, they will use a vibratory plow to install the underground fiber optic cable from the access pedestal at the road to the side of the house where the transition box will be located. Using this vibratory plow, the machine will slice through the soil with its blade while simultaneously placing the fiber optic cable underground by allowing the cable to pass through a chute built into the back of the plow blade. Generally, this cable will be installed at a depth of approximately 12 inches. The contractor may hand dig to negotiate around obstacles, such as the previously mentioned utilities, flower beds, decks, etc. After the cable is installed, the mound left behind the machine's plow blade will be packed and leveled by running over the mound with the machine's tires any dirt or bald spot that are left will be reseeded to establish grass. When plowing activities are complete, the contractor will dig the fiber optic cable into the access pedestal at the road and up to the home at the transition box location and leave the cable at each end for the fiber technician and the broadband technician to perform splicing at their respective locations. Phase two, fiber splicing at the access pedestal. When arriving at the access pedestal location, the fiber technician will determine if splicing can be made inside of a splicing trailer or if it will have to be done outside. In this example, the splicing can be performed inside the trailer. For many of our areas, this will not be the case and it will have to be performed outside on the table. This will require ideal weather conditions to ensure optimal splice results. At this point, the fiber technician will remove all cables from the access pedestal and place them inside the fiber splicing trailer. The fiber technician will then strip the outer covering off the cable using a knife to access the buffer tubes and fibers inside. Once the tubes containing the fiber optic strands are exposed, the framework of the splice case will be installed into the cables and fiber optic strand tubes placed in the fiber trays. The splice case will protect the fibers from water, rodents, and hazards caused by periodic movement. The technician will then strip off the tubing containing the fibers, strip the coating off the fibers, and then place a heat shrink tube on one side of the fibers. After the fibers are stripped, the fibers will be placed in holders and cut precisely using a fiber cleaver. The fibers are then placed inside of a fusion splicer using the fiber holders. At this point, the fusion splicer will align the ends and splice the fibers using electric arcing technology. Once the fusion splice is complete, the fiber technician will place the heat shrink over the splice and place it in an oven on the splicer to activate the heat shrink tubing. When the heat shrink is finished, the heat shrink tube will be placed in the fiber tray located in the splice case frame. The heat shrink and fiber tray both help to organize and stabilize the splice to avoid movement and potential breakage. With the splicing complete, the fiber technician will put a cover on the splice case, coil up the excess fiber, and replace it back into the fiber access pedestal, completing the splicing procedure. Phase three, basic installation at the home. Citizens will need to install the fiber optic drop on the outside of your home with a transition box to protect it from the elements. Once the transition box is mounted, 
we like to discuss the proper placement of the ONT inside the home with the homeowner. Proper placement of the ONT will help to ensure the best Wi-Fi coverage in your home so that you can stream seamlessly if you choose to stream media. The Citizens Technician will now install a new fiber optic cable from the transition box on the outside of your home to the connection point on the inside of your home. As every home is unique, the Citizens Technician will discuss the entry point of this fiber optic line before doing any drilling on your home. Once the fiber cable has been installed to the proper location, the technician will proceed to install a fiber optic jack. The fiber optic jack provides the signal to the ONT with the fiber patch cable. Once this patch cable is hooked into the ONT, the technician will test the gigabit connection, provide ample education on your new equipment, and clean up the work area and be on their way. At this point, you are now a Citizens Gigabit Fiber Service customer. Welcome to Gig Country. And here we are folks back out today on oh, a gorgeous day here at Buffalo Field. We're out, Beal Field as we call it. it uh, we're here with number 28, Matthew Cockrum. He is uh, a wild man on the defense, the rock as they call him on our defense. So, so tell me man, you know, you're, you're full of energy on the field. You get pumped up. How do you get yourself psyched for that game? Uh, I don't really know. I just, it feels great to be out on the field with all my teammates and I look at them as family. So it just gets me pumped up that we go out there and we can fight together and bring out a victory for the county. That's awesome. You guys, you really seem like you have a lot of chemistry on the field, you know, when, when somebody makes a big play, you're, you're all out together to come and greet them, you know, and, and celebrate that moment. How does that feel when you're coming off the field like that, meeting your teammates? Oh, it's fantastic. I love it. We've been together since elementary school, so it's just great to have that feeling all the way up through football. That's great. So what, so what grade are you this year? I'm a senior this year. Senior. Final season, man. It's awesome. Yes, sir. So, so what, let's go back through a couple weeks ago here. You had that big fumble return for the touchdown, man. That was awesome. Now, yeah. now how'd that feel running down that field with that? It felt really slow, but <laughs> when I finally got to the end zone, it was, it was a great feeling. Me and Coach Bill was talking about it the other day. When you came through, when you were going down the field, you could hear the, the stadium just getting louder and louder the further you went down. It was awesome. Could you hear the crowd oh, out there? Oh, yeah. I could hear the crowd, the student section, our teammates on the sidelines. It just was going crazy. That's good stuff. So, so what other sports have you been done here at Floyd? Uh, I've mostly done wrestling, but uh, I've did baseball. Uh, I think that's about it up at the high school. Are you going to wrestle again this year for the final season? I think so. Now you've had pretty successful past few years here, haven't you, in wrestling? Yeah, I went to uh, states in my ninth grade year and my eleventh grade year. That's awesome. Good stuff, man. Um, so we got a little thing we do here with all the players. It's called, we're calling it the two minute drill this year. And uh, we're gonna ask you a bunch of questions. We'll see how many you can get. In the winter, we're gonna hook up with some Buffalo gear and give them some shirts and hats and different things. So, so you ready for that? I guess so. We get my checklist out here. All right, we'll start with the easy ones. You ready? We're gonna see how many we can get. All right, you ready? Favorite food? Uh, spaghetti. Favorite drink? Mountain Dew. Favorite movie? Uh, <laughs> that's a hard one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Avengers. Avengers. Which, who's your favorite man. teacher? Uh, Coach Bill. Coach Bill. What song is playing in your car right now if you got into it? Uh, probably Hell's Bells. All right. What's your favorite <laughs> subject at school? Uh, math. What's your favorite football player? Uh, uh, skip that one. I don't yeah. know. I don't have one. <laughs> if, you, if you won the lottery today, what would be the first thing you bought? Uh, probably a cabin in Alaska. All right. Not bad. So, which one of your teammates is most likely to make you laugh today? Uh, Caleb Webb. Caleb Webb. Well, Hollywood. <laughs> Who do you think uh, works the hardest on the team? Uh, Eddie. Eddie? Cool. So, do you think that you could beat Coach Bill in a 40-yard dash? I think so. Yeah, you can take him? All Maybe. Right. All right, and this is a new one for us this year. How many JoJo Siwa songs can you name? None. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, man. Well, thank you a lot. Thanks for joining us. And, thank you. Uh, man, good luck to you with the rest of the season, and I hope wrestling goes good for you as well. Thank you.
got number 41, Reese Connor here with us, a madman at the linebacker. Thanks for joining us today, yes, man. Um, we're getting in, we're getting geared up today. So just tell us a little bit about yourself. What, uh, what year in school are you, bud? I'm an 11th grader, and this will be my second year playing varsity. Awesome. So any plan, I know you're just a junior year, but you got plans after school. Where are you looking to go? Um, some college, some college that'll take me in and hopefully bump me up to the next level. We were, uh, we were just visiting uh, with Cochram and uh, we we're talking a lot about the energy on this team. And you know, you guys are, you're wide open on the field. You're, you're right out there to greet everybody. When, when something goes, you know, a big play goes down, you're all running to go. Oh, and it's yeah. awesome, man. How's that yeah. feel when you're coming off air and you've made that big play? Yeah. It's the best thing ever. Everybody's cheering you on and hyping you up. You just get that feeling in your stomach. You just want more and more. The, um, so what other sports do you play here? Um, let's see. I started wrestling my eighth grade year and I'm going into my junior year for wrestling. So going to keep going with that this year? Yeah, I'm planning on going all the way with that. Awesome. Got a preference on what you like better, football or wrestling? Definitely football. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say football. <laughs> What do you like about football better? Um, let's see. You can you can really pound somebody out yeah. instead of wrestling, but just your team, you're playing with the team instead of just an individual sport. So when you're out there on the field and you hit take one of them monster hits on somebody, can you feel that crowd when they get fired up over there? They're they're the loudest person on the field. <laughs> That's awesome. So so we got something going this season, man, with you with all the football players here. We're calling it the two minute drill. And we're going to see how many questions you can answer. Just tell about yourself a little bit. And uh, winter, we're going to hook up with some uh, some buffalo gear, some uh -huh. hats, and shirts and stuff. So, man, man, the Rock old Cockrum, he got several of them in here. So uh -huh. you're going to, you're going to have to step up and beat him. All right. Ready. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Starting now. What's your favorite food? Mashed potatoes. Right. Favorite restaurant? Ah, uh, Alice. Favorite movie? Let's see. Jaws. Favorite teacher? Miss Bearden. Cool. Favorite sport? football <laughs> what is your favorite ice cream flavor definitely chocolate chocolate if you get into your car right now what songs playing bad company bad company what's your favorite subject at school math favorite football team dallas cowboys favorite player football player leighton vanderes nice favorite coach you've ever had uh coach bill coach bill if you got to go to college to play football what team would you want to play for virginia tech nice so if, if you won the lottery today, what would be the first thing you bought? Brand new car. <laughs> All right. So what, what player on the team is most likely to make you laugh today? Caleb Webb. Man, that's a popular answer. Where would, um, where would your dream vacation be to? Let's see. Uh, Brazil. Brazil. Do you think you can beat Coach Bill in a 40-yard dash? That man's quick. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the bonus question. How many JoJo, can you name a JoJo Siwa song? <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> We're stumping people on that one. Good job, man, good job. I think you might've got the rock on that one. Yeah. We appreciate you being here, man. And yes, uh, good luck to you this season. Thanks, good luck sir. in wrestling as well, man. Thank you. Thank you. Shane Monk, AKA Diesel, getting it done with the Floyd County Buffaloes. And uh, thanks for being here with us today, man. Yes, sir, happy so, to be here. Awesome, so tell me, what positions do you play? I'm offensive lineman at center. I'm a defensive lineman. Sometimes tackle, sometimes in. Just depends. It's awesome, man. Center. That's the brains of the operation there. Get to touch the ball every play. That's right. That's right. So how do you, how do you like being in there in the trenches in there busting heads? Oh, I love it. I'd, I'd never be anywhere else. It's just the most fun, the best part of the game there is. So tell me when you when you get out and you you guys are lining up and you're over at the goalpost, you're ready to bust through that banner. What how's that feel, man? I mean, what's going through your mind? You got jitters all over. You just can't wait. And then as soon as you run through, it's like they're gone. You're just ready to play. You're mentally focused. That banner does everything for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So when you how's it, when you come through that banner and you can hear that crowd up there hitting the stampede, stomping their feet and everything, what's that mean to you guys? Oh, it means the world to me. It's just showing your pride in your county and everything. Just supporting your local school it's it's the best it's good stuff so what uh what year are you in school uh, i graduate in 2021 so i'm a junior right now junior awesome any plans made yet for after school or waiting it out uh probably gonna wait it out not too sure yet awesome so wh what's your your favorite thing about being on the football field just the ability to hit somebody as hard as i possibly can with no consequences yeah 
<laughs> That's a great answer. A little stress relief there after yeah. school, huh? Yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. You guys, you, we've talked to some other plays about it. You, you guys have seem to have a, a great chemistry this year. You know, when there's a big play made, you know, everybody's rushing out to meet him. How does that feel when you're making that play? Oh, it just takes your adrenaline up and you're ready for the next play. Just ready to score again. It's good, man. It's great. So do you, do you play any other sports here, Floyd County? I'm a wrestler for Floyd, too. Yeah, several wrestlers. So are you going after that again this year? Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Well, man, we got, we got something we've been doing with some of the other players here. We call it the two-minute drill and a uh, little competition we're doing. And if you, can, if you can answer the most questions right in this drill, we're going to hook you up with some buffalo gear, some hats, and some other things. So you ready for it? Yeah. See what we got? All right, here we go. Start it up. What's your favorite food? Spaghetti. Favorite restaurant? Uh, Frank's. Favorite movie? Uh, <laughs> Talladega Nights. Sorry. <laughs> favorite teacher? Uh, Mr. Tanner. What's your favorite sport? Wrestling. Got a favorite actor? No, I don't. Favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, Dreamsicle. What song is playing in your car right now? Tulsa time. What's your favorite subject at school? Probably math. Who's your favorite football team? That would be Virginia Tech. Who's your favorite player? Mm, it was Tyrell Edmonds before he graduated. Awesome. So uh, if you had to pick a college team to play for, who would it be? Appalachian State. Happy State. Nice. If you won the lottery today, what would be the first thing you bought? A uh, 72 Chevrolet pickup truck. Not bad, not bad. What, what player on the team is most likely to make you laugh today? Reese Connor. Reese Connor. <laughs> Where would your uh, dream vacation be to? Uh, I'd like to go to Canada and kill a moose. Nice. Do you think that you could beat Coach Bill in 40-yard dash? Probably not. Pretty quick, huh? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do on summer break? Work. Yeah? Where do you, you work know. at? Uh, Reed's Garage and check. Sweet. Nice job. So, this is the bonus question, if you can get this one. Can you name a JoJo Siwa song? I cannot. <laughs> we just stumped everybody on that one today. Good job, man. You were right in there in the mix. So thanks for being here with us today, man, yep. and, uh, and good luck for the rest of the season. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, senior number 12, Mr. Caleb Webb, a.k.a. Hollywood. Been, yeah. been around this program for a long time. Uh, how you feel, man, coming into your senior year? That's great. I'm very excited. Awesome. It, this team's got a lot of chemistry to it. Uh, a lot of people are very outgoing. Uh, yes, man, we've heard a lot about you today. We, we've had we've got a question. We, we can't give away everything to it yet, but uh, you know your name's coming up a lot here. You might be the one that makes people laugh out on the field. Is that you think you can live up to that? Yeah, it's real true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite part about being on the field? Uh, like you said, just like the chemistry, how tight we are, how the tight knit group. We, I, was, I was asking Diesel a while ago, how, how do you feel, man, when you guys get out to that goal post and you come through and you bust through that banner? What, what's going through your mind, it's man? Just, it's a great feeling. There's nothing really that can describe it. It's just one of those things you got to experience for yourself. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about a negative for a second. You're coming off an injury, but we're healing back up. Right. So, so when are you expecting to be back out and going? Uh, I came back last week, but it's still giving me some problems, but we're working through it. That's right. That's right. Ain't nothing you can't work through. No, sir. So, tell me, what's what's meant the most to you this senior year? You know, what means? What do you think you're going to miss the most from the team? Uh, just the brotherhood we have, how together we are, and how much we just enjoy the game of football. It's good stuff. So, any plans for after school, after going to college, or made yeah, any decisions I'm, yet? I'm looking at a couple schools, but Tech's my top right now. Got a major in mind or? Uh, something in the medical field, but I'm not sure yet. Awesome. So I got to know, man, what each week when you get ready for the game, how do you decide which way you're going with that hair? I mean, does it just come to you or do you got a, a, a yearly plan you got mapped out? It's a game day decision. I'll wake up and whatever I'm feeling, I'll just roll with it. Awesome. Awesome. All right, man. So we got a little competition between you players, so uh -oh. we're calling it the two-minute drill. Uh, right. We're going to see how many questions you can answer in these two minutes. We're going to hook you up some buffalo gear if you can win. Uh, All right. Got some pretty stout competition going here, so uh, we'll see what we got. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Favorite restaurant? Oof. Buffalo Wild Wings. Favorite movie? Uh, White House Down. Favorite teacher? Uh, Miss Sells. Favorite sport? Football. What's your favorite actor? Mm. Leonardo DiCaprio. Favorite ice cream flavor? Cookies and cream. Nice. 
What song is playing in your car right now? Uh, Folly to Virgie by Tyler Childers. What's your favorite subject at school? Mm, English. What's your favorite football team? Redskins. What's your favorite player? Ray Lewis. Nice. What's your dream car? Mm, uh, Wrangler. So if, if you could pick any college team, football teams you'd like to play for, who would it be? Uh, Georgia. Georgia, nice. If you won the lottery today, it would be the first thing you bought? Uh, private Island. <laughs> That's a good one. So this is the one we've heard a lot about you. Which player on the team is most likely to make you laugh today? Mm, probably Reese. Reese. Where would your dream vacation be to? Hawaii. Nice. Do you think you can beat Coach Bill in 40-yard dash? Yeah. What was your favorite thing to do on summer break? Mm, sleep in. Nice. Now, this is the bonus question. If you can get this one, you get a, you get a few extra points. Can you name a JoJo Siwa song? <laughs> no. No, oh, another one again, man. They're stumping them on that one. So, well, good deal, man. Well, well good luck the rest of the season. Appreciate you joining us today, man. And, Thank uh, you. Good luck on all your adventures after school, too. Thank you. So, Isaac Keith. Uh, playing tight end, junior tight end, linebacker for the Floyd County Buffaloes. Thanks for joining us, man. Thank you. So we've been talking with a lot of your teammates. Um, tell us, what, what's your favorite thing on the field? Or favorite thing about the team? Uh, I like how we, uh, we all work together and we play hard. And, you know, I just love the adrenaline going up there on the field and hitting somebody. And it's just something I've always did and I really enjoyed it. So have you played football all the way through? Yes, sir, I have. Awesome. You play any other sports, Floyd? I play baseball. Cool. Which one do you like better? I like baseball. Yeah? Yes, sir. What do you like about it? I've always, you know, I just enjoy going out there, playing on the field. My mom really liked me out there playing baseball. And I was, sure. I guess she always thought I was really good, and she wished I would just go somewhere for it. So I'm trying my hardest to yeah. you know, get somewhere for baseball. Awesome. So. What position do you play? First base and pitcher. Sweet. Left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Nice. Good job. So. Do you, how do you kind of control both sports there? You know, you got a long seasons for both of them, yeah. especially your off-season work. How do you manage all that? Well, on the off-season between football and baseball, usually I practice pitching, I practice hitting and stuff like that. And during the summertime before football, I work out and stuff like that. And that also helps me for baseball. So Yeah, absolutely. Just, so when you, when you set field, foot on the field out there, how does it feel, man? Are you pumped up? Or how do you get pumped up for the game? Well, in the locker room, we all get pretty hyped before the game, and uh, walking on the field, I know it's just just nervous. I get butterflies before every game. Sure. Like the day before, I get butterflies, and after that first kickoff or kick return, and I get the blood flowing and stuff like that, it's just it just comes all, natural. All, yeah, it just comes natural, and I just play as hard as I can. That's awesome. So, how do you feel when you when you come off? You make a big hit or you make a big play, and you know you talk about that team chemistry. How does it feel when you come off and all your teammates are there greeting you and? It's, it's awesome, a, right? Yeah, it's a good feeling. I mean, just hitting somebody and they having to come up to you and they high five you or pat you on the back or something like that. It's just, it really makes you feel like you've done something and made somebody smile or something like that. And it's just. When you're out, when you're on the field and you can hear them stands get fired up up there and you hear those folks, you know, pounding their feet up there making noise, what's that mean to you? It means that people come to Floyd County football to watch. Hard hitting smash smash football. That's right. That's right. So, all right, man, we got a little competition we're doing with you guys, and uh, we're calling it the two minute drill. We're going to see how many questions you can answer, and if you can, if you can win, you can answer the most. We got some buffalo gear. We're going to hook you up with some Alrighty. shirts and hats and different things. So, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, see so what we got. We're ready to go. So, favorite food? Uh, burgers. Favorite movie? Talladega Nights. Favorite teacher? Mm, Mr. Tanner. Favorite sport? Baseball. Favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Favorite animal? Dog. What song is playing in your car right now? I have no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite subject at school? Uh, math. Favorite team? Panthers. Nice. Bonus points for that one, absolutely. What's your favorite player? Christian McCaffrey. Nice. More bonus points for that one. What's your dream car? 06 Dodge Cummins. Nice. If you could pick a college team you, that you, any teams you wanted, football or baseball, who would you play for? JMU. Deal. If you won the lottery today, it would be the first thing that you bought. Uh, something for my father. Deal. Which uh, player on the team is most likely to make you laugh today? Caleb Webb. 
popular answer. Where would your dream vacation be to? Missouri. Good deal. You think you could beat Coach Bill in a 40 yard dash? Probably not. No. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do on summer break? Work. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I go to bed pretty early. Yeah, good deal. <laughs> All right, here's the bonus question. Can you name a JoJo Siwa song? No, I can't. No, hog. <laughs> Stumped them all today. Well, good deal, man. Well, thanks for being with us, and uh, we welcome. really appreciate you, and good luck this season and in baseball season as well. Thank you.